What's going on? And we're back for round two. Woo! Episode two. Round second season. Motherfucking two. Second season. Yeah. We're already on the whole season. Every episode we're hunting. Which is like a season. (laughs) Every episode is a new hunting season. Ooh. That is. Last episode we hunted for laughs. This episode we're hunting for emotion. Ooh. I was gonna say love, you know, laughs and love. love is an emotion. Well, yeah, but like, you know. no, I'm talking about like yeah. some sad shit. Let's make our let's make people get, cry. I don't want that. I'm, I don't I want, want that cry. at all. You come on, it all up. You don't it cry went from all oh, happy. We were so go lucky. We were pumping it. Mm. It's okay. We'll get there. We'll get there. We I'm trying get. to win an Oscar for podcasting. To get serious this right is, now, we had a baby get, yeah. scene last time, <laughs> and I died, dude. Oh, that's right. You gave, mm-hmm. you died giving birth. Yes. Yeah. Man. As you probably would. Yeah. Can you yes. imagine? Yeah. No. Oh my God. I don't you, want to. Well, you you certainly have already imagined. Yeah. You well, you already imagined. I already am right now. Yeah. I imagine you already myself acted the whole thing out. Doing it and then not wanting to imagine myself imagining that. Hmm. You All imagine right. yourself not imagining something. Yes. What does that look like? Uh. Well, just like that right there. Do you see that? Damn. <laughs> you nailed that yeah, shit. I was, I was told yesterday that somebody used to play hangman with themselves. Like that, that elementary school game. How would you mm-hmm. do that? You know the word. So th- she said that she would force herself to forget the word the minute she decided what it was. How do you force yourself to forget the word? Don't Wouldn't that be ask- the best book? Writing yourself a hangman book one day, just every page is a different word, and then you play it like... I don't know, like two months later. Yeah, but how do you know if it's right? <laughs> well, because you'd have the answers in the back. Oh, okay. back of the book, back of the book. Put it in the back of the book, back of the book, back of the book. I'll put or it like in the back just, of the book. You just make your own rules. Or they do the thing that was like on the in, in the newspapers, where the word be like upside down. Yeah, on the bottom corner. And yeah. if you like really wanted to, you'd like glance at it. You'd be like, oh, I figured it out. I when I was younger, I made a connect the dot, the dot book, did and you? it was amazing. <laughs> what kind of did you draw? No. I okay. dotted first, and the dots were random, and we made pictures out of the dots that were already previously drawn. Oh, that's creative as hell. That sounds Oh, it was amazing. It's a little arts and crafts project. All Look right, at you. All right. Yeah, you just come at it, pop, 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 bunch of dots, and then you're like, ooh, this turned into Santa Claus. Yeah. 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 Little Pablo Dom, Dom Caso. Little Pablo Dom Caso. Pablo that's Dom Caso. Yeah. Pablo Dom Caso. So they call me. Goddamn. Killing it. Did you know? What's going on? Tell me what's up. Ninja Turtles. The original Ninja Turtles movie. Was the most successful independent film of all time? I did know that, actually. Did you really? Yes, I did. I know a lot of facts about that movie, unfortunately. Hit me with them. Uh, Did you know that they didn't invite the reporter April back for the sequel because of her on-set complaints constantly? Oh, really? They just didn't fuck with her. She just kept complaining about showing up on time or the food. Um, the guy, actor who played Donatello yeah. had to take his mask off after every single take because he was claustrophobic. Hot. Oh. Yeah. They all kept him on. Yeah. Yeah. Did you know the fight scenes were filmed in slow motion and then sped up after? Ooh. They were filmed in slow motion? The fight they, scenes were... Hold on. Hold on. So the turtles, <laughs> did they move in slow motion? That's what yeah. I think. They were all in this scene. There's got to be behind the scenes of this. Yeah. Absolutely. Imagine. They were I just imagine. like, they're going like... Just hella slow and hella fighting and yeah. like speed it up and it just looks crazy. Well, how would you have moved fast and articulated in costumes like that? Good point. You wouldn't have been able to no, do that. Those no are way. crazy it's costumes. It's like straight up styrofoam. I mean, you I had like you had like a a shell on your back, <laughs> which probably like locked your leg movements. You literally mm-hmm. had a shell on your back. They you waddle when they run mm-hmm. in that in that movie. Did they waddle? Well, like they yeah they the, you it know. was the side to side. They're getting there. Do yeah. they have eyelids? Ooh. I don't think so. Because, like, that... No, no. No, they had the mask on. And the mask well, always had it, like, all in the... They have eyelids under the mask. The, I, the, the mask isn't holding their eyelids back. Well, that the, shit would be crazy. I, Can you I, imagine I, this bright-eyed turtles just staring at you? Like, I think I'm confusing up? it with, like, the cartoons where the eyes were always white because the mask made their eyes white for some reason. Like, everything was white when yeah, you put on the mask. Yeah. Same we, thing with, like, Robin and, and Batman and stuff. Whenever they put on the mask, it just had this, like, white film. Well, they had pupils. Oh, they did. did. They? they did have pupils. They had pupils in the movie. I think they had to have eyelids. They must have had eyelids. Oh, they did. I know they couldn't smile. What an intricate costume. Did they blink? That's what I'm saying. Did yeah, they blink? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, no. Mm-hmm. What was that? I think the blinking would be scary. 
I yep. think the blinking would. Or is make it, it so scary. natural we wouldn't even notice it? Right. I bet if, but the thing is, is that when they have like back in the day, that movie was made in like the '90s or something, or '80s or what is it? '90s? I can't I date that. I, I can't. But like, whenever they have those costumes and they got a blink, the, the, it's always like, like weird, like kind of slow, and you like notice it. You're like, yeah, it'd be like it would you take know? you out of the, you know, take you yeah. out of the moment. You know what makes me think of that though is what was that dinosaur movie that had all the live action? Oh, oh, that wasn't. Oh, it was a, a movie. dinosaur it was a, movie. It, it was, was a show. show. Yeah, it was called oh. I think Dinosaurs. Dinosaur family. That was weird. It was like a sitcom but of dinosaurs. Yeah. And it was a and play, the dad, right? It was like dad. a No. No, no. It wasn't a play. It was it, it was, was on it was I mean it was on stage though, wasn't it? Or was it an actual no. show? I don't think it was live. I think I it was a show. Was, yeah. I remember the dad would leave to go hunt prey every day. That was his job. What? I don't remember the show at all. I don't Me think I either. even seen it. I just I've remember I remember like the baby and like mm-hmm. one scene where like the dad and the prey like, kind of became cool for a second who is the prey the, is the prey, prey was also like also a happy go looking dinosaur no too? the prey was like a mangy mammal it was like a rat or something like that what yeah did he not have like i could have sworn that is this not the children's the show one. yeah i could have sworn did that, they eat it they tried to i don't think they ever succeeded no but, didn't no, they, the dad wear like a suit and tie yeah yeah he yeah did. he's yeah. just going to the office i thought he's going to the office no he was out there chasing stuff I'm but in a sure. suit and tie i <sighs> The That's rat such a crazy was thing. a metaphor. Maybe it wasn't. For Maybe real he was life. working somewhere. He made, I, he, I think he had a blue collar job. Mm-hmm. He was insanely depressed, and uh, he talked about it a lot. I think the prey escaped while like the wife was trying to prep it or something. That was like the one episode where the prey just kept getting out. Why aren't? Why do you mean getting out? Why didn't they eat it? Like it came live, you know, and then they like she was going to prepare it, and then oh. it like escapes, and then he's like, I just want to eat, and then like the prey's like, Don't eat me. See, well, like, in a civilization where dinosaurs are putting on formal attire, why don't they have storefront exactly. grocery stores yet? They lived in the forest. He what? had a tie on. He have a t- yeah, you have to buy those clothes somewhere, unless they're making it Thank in the you. house. They gotta go somewhere. But they were like, they had tiny arms, didn't they? They're, all, they're, they're dinosaurs. So they they have to be anatomically correct. Everything Except for in the human their teeth, society yeah. is built for dinosaurs. You're right. It's a dinosaur society. I watched the one episode society. and I, I couldn't. Society. I couldn't sit through it. So I don't. It's terrifying. Watched an episode the other night. A long time ago. Oh, I like we should watch an night. episode tonight. We should. Well, I th- you know what? I have an idea. I feel like the animatronics on it were crazy. Like the, it was costumes. Yeah, it was and, and Muppets. Yeah, like the, a yeah, but like the yeah. way that it worked was like astounding. You know, I have an idea. I'm gonna pause this real quick, mm-hmm. and we're gonna show Dom a quick clip of it. I want to get his crazy intake on this. All right. All right. All right. I am actually down, dude. Right. Dumbest it reminds me of, like, Tim the Tool Man Taylor, dude. Yeah. It's the Tim Allen of dinosaurs, dude. Yeah, I liked it. He is the Tim Allen of dinosaurs. Mm-hmm. And Absolutely. the baby... Whew, that little guy, he can, he can make a freaking show. He's, He's got wits. He I think he had his own spinoff. What? Yeah, Baby Dinosaur, the show, and he just laughed the whole time. I can't do it that well. That, was that it? That was solid. <laughs> that was pretty good. We're going to use that one for the next <laughs> time you have to beat Sensor all the... Co- yeah, the sensors. Yeah, yeah we're using sensor, that one now. That's the sensor <laughs> hit right there. That's the good one. I can't believe they said hose on that show. Did you see that? Yeah, yeah but, but the there, hose, was there, were, there were socks. Socks. Well, oh, yeah. pantyhose. Yeah. yeah pair that's of funny. Yeah. They got away with that. Yeah, they, they really did. got away with yeah. that. That's what I'm saying. That's why the show has levels to it, man. Mm. Okay, so Dad didn't wear a tie. Well, he maybe wore a tie. That may have been his he day. He might off. have different but clothes. They had a working television and a kitchen, dude. She was wearing like a apron, meaning she's gonna cook some food in an oven. What do you? The prey got loose. Yeah, Sam. Yeah, the prey got loose. Oh, there's a whole episode about it. What are yeah. they doing? Yeah, and well, I think but, and I think the dad leaves to go catch the prey, and then they like he can't and he's got to sleep out there, and the prey's cold, so like they cuddle for warmth. Also, that one night. They, they live next friends. to a volcano, yeah. dude. Yeah, they do. They Real do. close to volcano. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Boom, volcano background you volcano. Rem- well, yeah, well, they got to. Well, you remember what? Didn't that how the dinosaurs die? How did dinosaurs die? Meteor? Yeah. Volcano eruption? They I think there was a variety. Of... Ice Age? No one really knows, huh? I, think, I feel like they might have decided something I think it. the, like they the decided rock what came, happened. smashed into the ground, created earthquakes, created plate shifting, all that stuff maybe caused so much pressure underneath the earth that the volcanoes erupted. And also from that smash, 
it actually, like the ashes and everything, blocked out the sun, creating the Ice Age, because it was so dark and cold for so long, the sun couldn't break through the barrier, and the Ice Age happened, killing everything, all the plants, animals, everything, because nothing could survive that. That sounds pretty well to me. That sounds, that sounds solid. Yeah, you surely just didn't get the flu? Yes, yeah, flu's pretty, pretty intense. It's flu's been pretty, killing it's, things. It's been killing things. I won't I lie about that. I think it killed the dinosaurs. I'm going to just go on a limb with and the say dino, The dino flu? Oh, is it see, a limb? The dino flu you and go the dino Hold on. You said go out on a limb? Is it a limb or a whim? A limb. I'm going to go out on like, a like, limb. Like, like you're, in a, tr- a like you're on a tree a limb of a and tree. you're like going closer to the edge and it could break? Yeah. Wow. You're like, I'm going to go out on a limb. Hopefully it doesn't break. Yeah. The dinosaurs died of the flu. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but the limb probably broke after that. Is it a limb? Yeah. Are you looking it up right now? Yeah. You're looking up the same. I thought thing. it was a limb. I don't know what a you limb thought it was, is. I'm going to go out on a whim here? No, I thought it was a limb, but our whim. I don't really know what a limb was. Or I don't know what a whim was. Well, a limb's an arm or a leg. A whim or a yeah. limb is. Or a limb of a tree. I don't tree. know what a whim is. I don't know. A whim's not a thing. A whim? Like, yeah. a whim? But that's, that is a term. Go yeah, on I'm going to go on, like, I feel go like I, that's been used no, too. No, it's like, 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 hey, what is Sam's favorite color? Like on a no, that's not even no no. Like right on, a whim, on a whim, I burned our house I'll down. Go on a whim. What? Like on a whim, I burned our house down. <laughs> like I just felt like it. Oh, that's what that means. Yeah. On a whim, I just felt like on a yeah. whim. That's why oh, I, I was. That's what I was thinking. Like on a whim, I'm just gonna go for it. But like, I don't. You said on a that limb. Makes sense. Yeah. yeah but, on a whim is also a viable, a viable expression. Okay. But you going like I did it on a whim is something you did it with no plan. And you say, oh, fuck it. And going on and a just, limb. And then going on a limb. decided to go out on that decided limb. Decided to take that chance. I feel like limb isn't like I'm going to go out. Isn't like saying. So you, you say decided I'm, to take the chance to say the dinosaurs got the flu. Mm-hmm. That's, that's what, what I'm saying. Yeah. Isn't that a got thing, it. though? Mm-hmm. Isn't, like, <laughs> got it. isn't the here? dinosaur flu a thing? I mean, who's to say? It is a thing. It killed the fucking dinosaurs. Where okay, go outside and tell me how many dinosaurs you see. Exactly. Ah. A goddamn flu killing the damn dinos, except for the iguanas, because those are absolutely dinosaurs and they survived the flu. they probably got the flu shot. Well, they they're what? probably the predecessors from the ones that had Who's... the flu. Like there was dinosaurs fucking while they were on the flu, but they came out with little sick dinosaurs. They never grew. Yeah. Oh, they stunted their growth. Stunted their growth. The little dinosaur iguanas. flu stunts growth. Oh, mm-hmm. so you think little iguanas are actual big dinosaurs? Mm-hmm. They're just sick. Oh my god! And if we were to able to like help them, the next the next round would be gigantic. Yeah, but yeah. we decide not to because we don't want giant lizards. Well, those, well, I want that... to. I'm trying to get that still. I'm, oh. I've been emailing. I've been I mean, emailing. We have a petition. Jeff Goldblum. Jeff Goldblum knows. Jeff Goldblum. He doesn't. Yeah, he doesn't. He doesn't email me back. But he, uh, I, I think he's the guy who I need to talk to about the dinosaurs. Surely he'd have the answers. I think he Jeff knows. Jeff Goldblum. Yeah. Well, I would have met. Who else? What's the name of the guy who was also in Jurassic Park? Kevin Hart. <laughs> Will Smith. <laughs> Will Smith. He is actually one of the T Rexes. It's honestly probably. The I just rock. started. I just started following Will Smith on uh, Instagram. He's yeah. probably the best Instagram I've seen in a he while. He says some. He's having a good time. He's having a great. He's in the time. Cayman Islands right now. I feel is like he? he's always yeah. doing something. Uh, he has to be. He's Will Smith. He is Will Smith. Yeah. That's awesome. That's undeniable. He's just yeah. killing it. <laughs> that's the truth. Those are facts. Can't right. deny that. <laughs> that's Will Smith he, is Will Smith. He is Will Smith. Will Smith. Oh, man. The, the fact that you can call yourself Will Smith and not have it say, like, like I'm, I'm a Will Smith. You know what I mean? That's like saying I'm, like, the fucking best. I am Will Smith. No. <laughs> Do you say that? <laughs> Do you say that in the mirror when you wake up in the morning? Yeah. You look at yourself, you're like, I am Will Smith. Today, Today. I'm going to be Will Smith. Yeah. I am Will Smith. Nothing less. Nothing less. It's a good thing to go for. It's a great thing to go for. Yeah. You, I mean, you Will Smith him. You yeah. Will Smith him today? Yeah. That's a verb you live now. You're just uh, John you're C. Riley in today. We're going to verb that up. I'm, I Will Smith all day today. I, yeah. That means you fucking killed it. Yeah. Killed that means you killed it. You killed yeah. it. God damn. Yeah. Will Smith. Respect to the, respect to the God, singer yeah. of the Disturbed. <laughs> Howie Mandel, man. Howie Mandel. Dude, it is an, an uncanny similarity between Howie Mandel. And Will Smith? No. <laughs> How, Howie Mandel and the singer to the Disturbed are the oh same person. Do they look the same? Dude, 
Well, they are the same person. It Howie is. Mandel sings for the Disturbed. But oh. the thing is, though, is that his audience for Howie Mandel Dude. and his audience for the Disturbed are two different groups of people. Yeah. So what is- they'd never have to mix. But since both all three of us are fans of the Disturbed, and I know all three of us are mega fans of Howie Mandel, we know this. Mega what is he fans. on? He's the come on, you're a mega Dude. fan. He's the uh, host. Apparently, I'm not. America's Got Talent. America's Got Talent. Uh, he's the deal or no deal, deal guy. Or no deal. Uh, he was also playing the singer of Disturbed. The singer of Disturbed. Yeah, yeah. I was looking at his face right now, swearing he was on a cooking show. Maybe cooking with Howie Mandel is a thing. Do I would remember watch that it. little little monsters Disney movie. Dude, no, no, no. It's little monsters. What are you talking about? Little monsters? monsters yeah, it Inc? is fucking little monsters. Little monsters. He plays the little monster. Does he? Yeah, I'm not even kidding. That's Howie Mandel. And like, I've I'm not even kidding. I've never, ever seen this movie in I've my life. I've never. This is crazy. This looks insane. Yeah. What? Dude, what? That's Howie Dude. Mandel. Look at that guy. This is what? And that's Fred, Fred Savage, I think. And why is it called Little Monsters? That monster's huge he's compared to the kid. He's monster. He's scary as fuck. Yeah. Yeah, I know. He's the biggest monster in the show, so oh it doesn't make a whole God, lot of sense. Oh, my God. This guy is insane. Yeah. This guy looks like the devil. I would not kick it with this guy. You this, can't take this guy outside. This That's is like, Howie Mandel. This is like an odd off Howie. play of Shazam. That's what it looks like. This is why he fucking Shazam? decided. Shazam? Yeah. The Shaq movie? The, the kind of like the kind of like the same. After this movie. I think that's called Kazam. He decided to be the singer Kazam? of the How does Shazam? No, no Shazam's the Kazam. superhero. Shazam is the superhero. Kazam is the Shaq movie, which, by the way, is a really good movie if no one has seen it. That shit is fire. Also, Kazam? another great Shaq movie. movie. That robot movie he was in. He played like a robot cop. That was uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger and... Uh, no, that was... <laughs> what's no. that movie? What's that movie with him? He's the kid. He's trying to, you know, the toy and the kid and Arnold Schwarzenegger. And he's like, yo. Jingle All the Way? <laughs> Boom! That robot the cop one. movie! <laughs> Nailed Jingle it. All the Way was a robot cop movie? Yes, it was. Dude, it <laughs> definitely was. What? We didn't know, yeah. I had no Arnold idea. Arnold Schwarzenegger, he's, he tries, he's trying to get... Uh, the perfect toy for his like son, and yeah. it's like the hottest toy on the market. But on the way there, the fucking killer robots try to yes, and then he's got to save the world. Yeah, yes, and he still gets the toy at the end, doesn't he? No, 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 because in the end he sees his son, and it's he's like, I am your present because he had to sacrifice a bunch of stuff because he became a robot cop in. Throughout the movie, through the process, he became robot, uh, like a robot. Yes, but yeah. he didn't want to be evil robot, like the like the ones yeah. he's fighting. So he became Sad. a robo cop. Yeah, and now he's the robo, the robo. But they can't say robo cop because it's trademark. So yeah. he's robo policeman. Yes, it doesn't roll Fire. off the tongue as much. Isn't it. the toy him? Isn't the toy of him? And he is actually the toy, and the kid doesn't know that he is the toy that he wanted. Are you be, like seriously? Is this is this the movie? No, no, it's the robo. Bro, killer robot. No, I'm serious. Like, is this like oh, is, is that, that the, the movie? actual movie? Yeah. No, no, no. The toy's not the robot. No, cop. but he does dress up as the toy at one point in the movie to be a robot cop. No, to get away from the killer robots. Now wait, did he disguise. become a robot or did he become a cyborg? Dude, robot. Well, I guess cyborgs half human, half robot, right? Yeah, cyborg. But at the time. No, he's more robot. He's all the way robot. <laughs> like they take they, like he had no organic matter because I think a cyborg has organic matter and then they Yeah. Oh, he's the toy. I'm looking at this picture right now. He is the toy. He he's He's the toy? This is this What's is What's the name of the hero in that movie by the way? I know Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but no, the toy. What's the name of that goddamn toy? Turbo something? Turbo Man or something. Turbo Man? Turbo Man. That's the name of is it. Is it really Turbo Man? It's Turbo Man. Oh shit. Did one? they sell this action figure when the when the movie came out? No, I think this, maybe the movie was made. And then I've the never seen it. Was... Doesn't he look like the most cliche uh, superhero? He's got a big ass T on his thing. <laughs> That's great. Honestly, Turbo I kind of I feel like they if they if this movie was hella bomb, <laughs> they should have made this action figure. I bet they did. I bet I bet pairing with the movie it came out. Dude, so you had to fight all these Santas. Yeah, but do you see the big ones they made? <laughs> Holy shit! Is that who I think it is? Arnold Schwarzenegger, dude. Yeah. Duh. You know that guy? Yeah, he's he's pretty famous now. No, no, no. The the bad guy. The actor. The actor who's playing the fucking bad guy. Do you see that? Uh-uh. Yeah, what's this guy's name? Sinbad! It's Sinbad. Sinbad's oh, in this movie. Sinbad. Sinbad. Okay, so there's a whole thing on the internet where... Oh, I know this. Keep where going. I know you're talking on about. On that somebody started a rumor that uh, Kazam 
what Sinbad has started in it, not Shaq. And this whole this whole myth started coming up, and people started making memes and produce and like little ads and stuff that that Sinbad was actually in Kazam instead of Shaq. Wow. And well, people, it wasn't even it was. It was years before memes were even a thing. Wow. Yeah. Like, yeah. people just believed Sinbad was in a genie movie. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. But and they, he never was. They, he never was. And, and, yeah, this was... And, and people, people to this day, believe that. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I might be believing. But also, I am tripped out right now, the fact that this came full circle. Back to Kazam, because we started off at Kazam, went over to Jingle All the Way all of a sudden, mm-hmm. and then back to Kazam, because Sinbad is in both of them. Sinbad's not in Kazam. Dude, he's Sinbad's right there. Not dude. in Kazam. Yeah, no, they, they, it's, it's a whole, it's dude, a whole thing. He's in there, dude. It's a whole thing. He's in it. He's not. He is. You think he is? He is. It's called the Mandela effect. Yeah, I had a friend. I had a friend from school that did a whole piece about this. Really? About the, about the, the Mandela, Mandela effect. effect. Yeah, but focusing around uh, Sinbad? Sinbad and Shazam. Okay. I've never seen the movie, That's so like the I can't one. really tell you. Is but... it, wait, so Shazam or Kazam? Kazam, well, like they, the only genie movie, as far as I know, was, was Kazam. Sh- Kazam and with then, Shaq, and then this Shazam idea came out. The Shazam idea, because Shazam is a f- big word, yeah. and people thought Sinbad was in this movie, yeah. but the movie doesn't even exist. It doesn't exist. Yeah, but there's like right, like Sinbad's weird piece together clips of him. Yeah, in it. But there's like what's there's a whole bunch of other like Mandela effects, alternate realities. Yeah. Like, like, like how like Jif and Jiffy peanut butter? Can yeah. you tell me what it's actually called? Jif or Jiffy? Uh, well, you got both. Yeah, Jiffy is a different brand of Jif. Ooh, no. no. I mean, I feel like there's Jiffy and Jif. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there is, dude. Mm-hmm. Show me it then. Go look it up. Jif. It's Jif. So wait, is it Jif? It's not Jiffy. Jiffy doesn't exist. Really? Mm-hmm. No way. Yeah, I've never seen a Y on the end of the. Nope. the... Damn, just J I F, man. Yeah. I thought it was two F's for some reason. The no. Mandela effect. I also never buy Jif. I buy, I buy, I buy Jiffy. Crunchy. Jiffy makes Crunchy. Buy. Why do we? Why do we want to buy? Jiffy makes there? Crunchy and creamy peanut butter. No, no. What's what's the Kroger? I buy oh. all the shitty Kroger brands. That's fine. Well, it's what's the other one? Well, but you've seen it, right? What's the other one? Oh, Skippy. Skippy. Skippy, Skippy Jiffy. That's Skippy. that's maybe where it comes that's from. That's probably where it came do. from. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm, we, Crazy. Got, we got to the bottom of this. Yeah, I know, right. It's pretty trial for all those Jiffy. out there. Jiffy, Skippy, make the connection. It's Jiff, Jiff, not and Jiffy. Skip. What about Skip? While we're on this not topic, Skippy. don't make the connection between Frito Lay's and Frijoles. They are not bean chips, people. I know Frito Lay and Frijoles sound so similar, <laughs> but they have nothing to do in common. <laughs> There's nothing in co- there's nothing to do with each other. Nothing at all. It was just a coincidence that the Frito chips was bought by like the Lay's Corporation creating Frito Lay. And that was it. This is how you this is how you shaken up. Has this for, like, been a, a thing week. for a while? Yeah, this is how them shaken up since you've been gone. Oh my goodness. This yeah. is it's been blowing my mind. You thought they were connected. Dude, oh. why wouldn't you take that opportunity to create bean chips? Like make them out of like some beans, dude. Because Frito-Lay is the name of the big-ass company. You know, I, Frito-Lay. It was Fri- Frito, like Don Frito. Yeah. I'm going to say Don Frito. It's not like Don Gino. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So anyway, he created the Frito chip, and then the Lay's Corporation bought him out creating Frito-Lay. Yeah. Yes. Well, I, wanna... I understand. So that's business. how that happened. Yeah. So what do you mean? No. Because weren't they just... Oh, you're saying, like, why have they not jumped on the Frito-Lay, Frijole chips? Done. Yeah. Got it. Well, I thought, okay. you got to market a bean chip now, which I'm, I'm, I'm for. 100%, dude. I'm for a bean chip. If there's a time, a bean now is chip. the time. Yeah, it'll be fine. Like what kind of bean, bean are we going to Garbanzo. Use? Ooh. I came in that hot because I believe in that. So you got the garbanzo, which is normally from, like, a hummus. <laughs> so you're having, like, essentially... Garbanzo? Yeah, garbanzo beans are what hummus are. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. But, pretty, yeah, pretty much I a hummus that. chip. I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah. It's, you it's know a, that? It's a, no, no, he didn't know that. They're called chickpeas. 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 Chickpeas is from hummus. Chip peas. Chip peas. Chip peas. Chip peas. Chip peas. Chip peas. Oh, that's what we'd call it if it's garbanzo chips. Or Ooh. fucking frijoles. Frito lay frijoles. I feel like that's, I feel like that's like weird refried beans, though. You gotta get the brown sugar, brown sugar maple shit. <clears throat> what? Whoa, whoa. I gotta. 
Whoa, the brown sugar maple Brown sugar maple Those are beans. the most disgusting kind of beans. Beans. Really? Beans. Yeah. No Free way. You heat that up in the pot, beans. you put that shit up on some Free toast. That's like a weird like barbecue beans. kind of beans. thing. Beans. I'm never for all that. All the beans. Look at all these beans. Free whole beans. Motherfucking beans. Can you hear that? Yeah, no, I've been hearing you the whole time. I was, sad, sad, sad. <laughs> you got a little, I was a little quiet right there. I was just, I just, I got so shocked by your bean choice that I just had to take a moment. I had to step back. I, I, they're not like my favorite beans, but they're good beans. They're not bad beans. They're good beans. But there's so many they more kinds of beans, beans But and to flavors. make a chip out of the brown sugar beans. Yes, I don't know about that. Well, maybe. Well, well you know, it doesn't sweet. taste like brown sugar. It but doesn't taste like beans. That's like your dessert chip. Yeah, it does. Brown sugar beans. Brown sugar beans taste like beans more than brown sugar. I had uh, brownies that were made from beans. They were pretty delicious. Yeah. Bean black, brownies? black bean brownies. Fire. Black bean no, brownies. I'm huh? just going to ignore that. You, I don't want that. You know what? I dismissed it when I... I, dismi- I dismissed gross. it. Is there chocolate in it? All right. I'm not entirely sure. It looks I feel like, like there, there is. should be because you can't just have black beans. It just doesn't brownie. have... It just doesn't have, uh, I think, like milk or eggs. Gluten. Okay. Yeah, milk but it's... Gluten. Oh, well, you know what? I drink milk out of almonds. Because chocolate so and like, beans go together. It is gluten. Chocolate and black beans is like a thing. Is gluten like yeast? Mm. Gluten is like... is It's what makes... Hair grow. <laughs> so gluten? people eat gluten. Was, <laughs> get that hair on your boys. <laughs> get it going. Come on. You don't eat gluten. You get no damn hair on you. <laughs> you can also just rub gluten on your forehead and you'll get some more hair. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I yeah. ask for a gluten more menu when I go to restaurants. I want more gluten. <laughs> I want more gluten. Can you, do you have, do you have any f- stuff filled with gluten? Is there just any gluten in the back that you could just give me? Any, any extra? I want a bucket of gluten. Any yeah. extra gluten back Pure there? Gluten. Can I get a liter of gluten? Just a liter of gluten. gluten. Can I get a, a quick liter of gluten? These terms always confuse me because I was never taught nutrition. So, you were never taught nutrition? Well, like, all right, you explain to me properly what a carbohydrate is. Oh, I can't fucking do that. Or, Don't or ask like, me. Or like, like, like breaks really, down energy. Well, I don't know right, what a calorie like, is. Yeah, so I was about to say, like a calorie. I don't know what that is. Or like what, don't like right, what even B12 is. B12? Like the vitamin. It's found in wheat, barley, rye, oats, related species. Cereal grains. Yeah. Well, so yeah. wheat is in a lot of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of stuff. Wheat has taken That's over the food crazy. game completely. Corn. Corn has taken over the food game. Corn? More yeah. than wheat? Oh, yeah. Oh. That's why we need it's to go to beans. Blue. Frijoles. Corn syrup isn't everything. Well, corn syrup. Corn. More than wheat? Oh, I would agree. Hmm. I would say corn is more prevalent than wheat. Because it's used... I think you can make plastics out of corn, too. What are you looking at? I'm in it. You're looking for the corn versus wheat oh, issue corn right here. Wheat issue. You know, yeah. I have, I have a... I'm going to just get, skip past this corn Okay. Thing. Oh, you know yeah. what? You know what? Yeah, because you know what? I got nothing much to say about it. Well, I mean... I want to tell you about this convention I heard about. Okay, hit me with it. All right, let's hear it. The what Time Traveler Convention. What? Yeah. When is it? That's the best part, <laughs> is that there's only one, because... But we can all make it there. Exactly. Yeah. They okay. had it already, Yeah. but if they only need one, because if you're a time traveler, you only need one. Yeah. And they made it for, like, time travelers, so if they wanted to come to that convention, they can walk around freely without being bombarded by questions about the future. Yeah. So it's like a little getaway. Oh. Yeah. When did this happen? At MIT. Wow. They're... they're is that cool? Ahead and behind the game. They're, I know. They're ahead and behind at the exact same time. Oh, right on time. Good job. Good job, no. team. Huh. This is a cool thing. I want to do that. MIT? Well, okay. Go Check this out. What if there is another one? What if it's an annual thing in the future and the Time Travelers Convention just keeps happening? It then just be a regular convention. But essentially, exactly. essentially, if you're a time traveler... You can just go to the convention you wherever just, you, you want. Just go to go to whatever, they don't need to plan. Whatever kind of... You could go there yearly. You could go there yearly, they did, but they only need one. That's the whole point. But the, what if they want another one? They're going to have another one. They just have to go back to they it. They just go back to it. I'm just saying they're going to they're <laughs> going to have to they're going to reamp it. It's going to be new technology. You know, get it all nice and good. Get it going. But the new no, technology was already there. No, because it's put on by time travelers. So they every time it is a new one. Yeah, because they. But they, it's always the same day. So if you're a non time traveler, you only think there's one. Yeah. Yeah, Ooh. but you're going back to the same one. But with your new yeah. tech. 
New to every, but everybody's going back to the same one. Yeah. So they yeah. they're going to redo it. It's, it's not just, done by non time. Okay, travelers. I get you. I get you. I get you. So it's still the same day, same time. Yeah, they're just revamping it every time they show up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. So if you're a non time traveler, it seems like one. But that's crazy because on that concept, then you could go to the convention every day. Mm-hmm. If you, yeah, yeah, if you wanted to, if you wanted to, which I feel like would be exhausting. But yeah, I don't think time travelers do that. They no. just go every once in a while. That'd be fucking great. No. I don't know what time travelers do. I've never spoken to one. How about you? How do you know? Do you know? Oh, oh man. Yeah, they keep yeah. it. They keep it on the real deal. They, they, you'd, mm-hmm. you'd have to. I feel like you cause a lot of problems for yourself yeah, if you, you were to just start outing your secrets. You couldn't fucking be a time traveler. I couldn't be a time traveler. I, I wouldn't be a time traveler. I'd, I'd mess everything up. I'd, I'd be an excellent time traveler. I'd butterfly flecked the hell out of this. I'd place. hold my thumbs everywhere, wouldn't touch shit. I'd just slide through, glide through. I'd no redo things over and over again, over and over. I'll just be do, I'll do, do it in different ways and see what happens, see what the outcome was, and be like, all right, I gotta go back to the other one, and then do a different one, and be like, I'll go back to the other one, and then just keep doing it, and be like, oh, this one was cool, and then I'll chill with that one, and then go on to the next day. Oh yeah, I would go around and do everything that like like, like you know? some crazy shit, like like light my job on fire. Wow, you guys you are terrible are time demented. travelers. You are demented. Is that demented? That is terrible. Why would you do that? Zoomies is terrible. Oh. Not That's... my current one. I'm not talking, I'm not talking about that. My current yeah. one's great. Yeah. I'm talking about my one I had back when I was like 18. So yeah. are you talking about that job or do we hate Zoomies? That job. Zoomies okay. is okay. Because I was about to be like, all right, we're sending out some messages here. Oh, no, no. Zoomies is good. I like okay. Zoomies. Okay. I didn't like that Zoomies and that manager. It's fair enough. And it was also in the middle of a mall, so it might not be the best place to light on yeah. fire. Yeah. There's also a Cinnabon right next to it, and I want to keep that preserved. Well, but if you lit it on fire, the smell would be wonderful. Ooh, that would be nice. Yeah. Mm. Just go light all the Cinnabons All the Cinnabons, but only, not out of vindictiveness, but for the smell. Purely. Just light the world full of Cinnabon. I just want the world to smell like cinnamon. I just want the world to smell (laughs) like a Cinnabon. they would burn, and you'd be wasting all the Cinnabon. Yeah. I want to eat all of them. Well, yeah, you... I want a giant oven pool... Full of Cinnabon dough, and I want to bake it and have it rise, and then I want to eat the whole thing with a fucking tractor. Possible. Possible. Probably the idea possible. of an oven pool sounds, like, deliciously dangerous. Deliciously dangerous. I like the sound of that. Like a pool that's an oven? A pool that's an oven? I'd be taking scoops what? out of it with a tractor. <laughs> Wait, hold on. What? An, yeah, an oven a pool. oven Like pool. a hot spring. No. Yeah, like a hot no, tub no. pool. Like an oven. Like, imagine an oven. In a pool. A pool. That's, like... I don't know, steel, and it just gets really hot. Hot. And you so can like cover a big the top. Pot? What are you talking about? An oven? Look, an oven? An like oven an oven, pool. but Not like the a size, pool. Wait, a pool or an oven? Oven pool. An oven? oven the size of pool. Pool oven or an oven pool? That's what I need to know. An oven pool. An oven pool. Okay. So, so it's in your so backyard. Pool in the shape of an oven. It's in, no, it's in your backyard. It's in your backyard. It's, yeah. on the, it's it built into the ground. You can close it if you want. Yeah, and you have a top on it, and you pull the top over the entire oven pool, yep. and you bake gigantic Cinnabon in it, mm-hmm. and then you take it out of it with a fucking tractor thing that's not really a tractor. It's more of like just... One of those things that's on a pivot on the side of the pool, like and an it's arm, like, like a like a claw. <laughs> yeah, a little like claw. Like so, like it, so it goes in it. vertical. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like a toaster pool. No, no, but it's, it's a, a big giant, it's a pool. open area. It's a big open area, full yeah. of dough. Can get up to uh, two thousand degrees. Two thousand degrees. Yeah, Fuck Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit. <laughs> Good call. Good call. We're not trying to go Thank Celsius you. there. Yeah, don't don't get crazy yeah. on us right now. We're 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 in the U.S. for oh, right now. Fuck so. with Celsius, dude. Don't give me that shit. Well, I mean, eventually we should. We it should makes probably... sense, but I don't care, dude. I'm gonna have to put this theme song in here at one point. Gonna... I'm not Hit that it. one right Ooh, now. Should good. I just do it right now? That was a good one. Right. Yeah. It was, I think it sounded good. Nice. I hope everyone was in with it. Nice. I love it. Cool. I, uh... <laughs> oh, shit. That's going to be a good one, though. I can't wait to hear that.
Yeah, I'm yeah. fucking stoked on that. You know, we got an offer. Uh, I got a really good guitarist that'll make some songs for us. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Get us some what? custom tunes. Yeah, I'm down yep. with that. Yep. Yep. I also yep. talked to Rob. Shout out Rob, by the way. Ooh. Rob, my boy Rob. Rob. I don't know if he. I, boy. I told him to if he wanted to make a little like up up kind of beat. For the theme song, yeah, yeah, if you yeah, want yeah. to do that, a little, 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 little jiggly, like a happy you know, beat, a little fluffy, a little, little, a little yeah. fluffy. I want a fluffy, uh-huh. I want a fluffy, fluffy beat. One. You do that, that, Rob? Beat, yeah. dude. Rob yeah. said he listens to the pods. So. Yes. A lot of, lot of, shout out to Rob. Round, a lot of round edges, a lot of round edges. Yeah, yeah. round and know. fluffy, round wow. and fluffy edges. That's yeah. what we need. I want nothing yeah. sharp in here. I want nothing smooth. No, I want smooth, smooth. I want to be able to sleep on it. Is that what you're telling me? You know, like you want. No, I don't want to be able to sleep on it. Like a nap. I don't want to nap on it. That's not like I want to be able. I want to like feel like I accomplished my dreams. That's what I need. That's the type of but fluffy, but fluffy, a fluffy dreams, fluffy successful dreams, fluffy successful dreams. Yeah, like that one. But you know how you have dreams on all the movies, like. You gotta no. sleep to dream. It's a good one, dude. Something like that. You gotta sleep to dream. <laughs> I'm talking about ambitions, goals, major things I want to accomplish in my life. life. Yeah, life. life. Thank life. you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's the word. That's the word you were looking for. I forgot what it was called. Or oh, that's the experience you were looking for. <laughs> yeah. What's that thing called again? Oh, uh, existence. Man. Existence. Yeah. That's the one. That's the one. Oh man. Yeah. Hell yeah. Were you? Uh, you guys excited for Valentine's Day? Yes. Yeah. I just spent all yeah. day creating, creating, let me tell you, creating yeah. a masterpiece. I know. It's the homemade presents. Those are the ones that get you. Those are the ones, yeah. Because they can be shitty as fuck and yeah. still be hey. nice. But it is not. I'm starting my own business, creating gift baskets. So, uh, I'm, a, I'm, a little, I'm, a little, I'm a little troubled by Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day troubles you? It does slightly. Oh no! Not that I'm I'm for the idea of like showing love and affection. Yeah, you know, uh, why is there only one day dedicated to that? This is I. You know what? I was expecting this question. You know yeah. what I'm? You I'll know, tell you, you why. He probably it's probably the same thing. Tell me why. Well, of course you want to just love and and sh- shower your significant other with love and and you know all that good stuff as much as possible, if anything, every day, right? Yeah. Um. But I think it's kind of like it's just kind of nice to have a specific day for it. Like, like you can put like like in your life and growing up in these twenty, in your twenties and thirties and shit. You know, your attention is based on a lot of different shit: your career, your life, your hobbies, or your significant other. And this day is kind of like just for them. Hmm. I'm gonna come in but here. Here we go. Of... Here we go. You ready? I'm gonna give you mine. Right. That wasn't what I was gonna right. say. Yeah, I got a different thing. For All right, too. Uh, yeah. Fucking money, dude. Everything. Yeah. Every, yeah. Corporations need money. It's a hallmark There's a holiday, holiday every single month now. Oh, Almost yeah. every month. Fuck yeah. out of here, dude. No, yeah. sad motherfucker. Come no. on. Look, you can Come have on. Valentine's Day and spend zero dollars. Just so you know. You're gonna spend Valid. something. No, no, no. no. You don't have to. I'm going to. It's a day. To get people to spend something a little more than they actually would, and that happens every single month. You got to keep the economy going; it keeps things driving, keeps the ball rolling. Because people don't spend money, the money's not getting spent. People aren't making anything. It's not. I don't turning. think. I think though. I think it's projecting I one think, day is going to save the economy. I think it's every month though. There's a holiday every month, and every time that goes, it's one. It's one day that people yeah. are falling out. I think on. it's a little bit more. I think it's a little bit more. I think Valentine's Day produces a really like heteronormative type of ideals. And there's a lot of different kinds of relationships out there that aren't exactly, uh, like, um, I don't know, like sexual partner based that, that is not advertised as like a, a norm as much. And there's a lot of like underrepresented areas not being talked about and it kind of like pinholes something that could be a lot more vast and like accepted is my thought on Valentine's Day. What? What? Come at me! Come at me a little, a little. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta shorten that up a little it's, bit. I don't know. It's all right. Really it's know. on. It's on the red. It's on record. <laughs> you, you guys can revisit that. It's uh. Go re-listen to that. Go one. re-listen to that one. Okay. Yeah. But what? Yeah. Like what happened? I don't know. It's like yeah. it's just it can. You know what? It can it can be a money uh puller Valentine's Day, 
But like if you're if you really don't want to spend money, or even like if you're so against Valentine's Day as it is a money spending holiday, you could celebrate it in a non money spending way. No problem. Yeah. All right. That's All what right. I said. This just sounds crazy. Like, right. I'm not yeah. like, oh, here we out. go. Here Check we go. This is out. it the origin? Yeah, but this yeah. is like I mean, come on. All right, so the ancient Romans may also be responsible for the name of our modern day of love. Emperor Claudius II executed two women, both named Valentine, on February 14th of different years in the 3rd century. Their matrodom was honored by the Catholic Church with the celebration of St. Valentine's Day. Yeah, so it's about two people getting killed. Getting executed. And now we're just buying gifts and saying I love yous. We did a great positive spin on it. (laughs) Hell yeah. Because Christmas is about... Like the the devil coming into your house, right? Is it? Yeah, I think so. What? Mm. Krampus? 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 The Krampus? Yeah. Oh, Krampus would eat the bad children. Yeah. Yeah, that was the story. That was the story. Well, that's like a Grimm's fairy tales kind of shit where, like, we don't really know the the, the OG fairy tales. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Like, is, I think, that, is that a thing? We don't know the origins of some major well, I, fairy tales? I have the book. I read most of them. Yeah. They're called Grimm something. It's called right? the, the, Grimm, the Grimm, Grimm fairy tales. The Grimm fairy tales, yeah. And it's like, we don't know the author, or do we know the author? Yeah, we know the author. Is it the same author? We have, yeah, I think so. Oh, cool. I don't I yeah, know Maybe, maybe, nah, I'm going to say, I but, don't know that question. Because I know, like, all the fairy tales we know nowadays, like Cinderella and, like, Snow White. Yeah, but those, those, have, those have originals that, yeah. like, are a lot yeah. more perverse. Way more worse. Yeah. Like, violent. I think, like, like, I think, stuff, like, uh, right? I think Snow White or Sleeping Beauty, someone loses their eyeballs. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Someone burns to death. I want to see the next the dwarves, movie like, like dwarves to be like eat that. people. <laughs> I don't like know. Like a dwarf fighting club. Yeah, I don't know what it is, but it's, yeah, it's, it's a lot more. Snow White yeah, organizes crazy. it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hansel crazy. and Gretel, like, they die. Yeah. They yeah. actually die in the end. They oven. die. They just yeah. straight up die. Yeah, that's the end yeah. of they're the like, story. They're like, don't leave. Don't talk to strangers. Oven? Don't take candy. Yeah, they, yeah. Get, they get cooked alive by the witch. Yeah. Eat pool oven. A whole <laughs> pool <laughs> oven. <laughs> Smell like cinnamon everywhere after that. Just baked kids and cinnamon. Goddamn. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. no. yeah. Here we endorse childhood cannibalism. What? Yeah, I jumped. I jumped a little bit. No, Jump yeah, I mean, you know, if you got to do, you got to do it. If you got to, if it's child the only on child cannibalism, only source of protein for or meat when you're you need to yeah. survive. It's an apocalypse situation. You got to do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know, I don't know about that. You wouldn't eat a person. In I an would definitely eat situation. a person. Yeah. yeah. Wow. You eat human meat. Oh no, no problem. Wow. I eat every other meat. Why am I gonna? Yeah. Why am I gonna hold a standard to that? You might as well commit. If you're yeah. like, dude, I mean, okay. come on. You got okay. All right. What's up? There's three people left. Okay. Okay. Apocalypse situation. And three one of them looks left. really delicious. <laughs> looking real delicious. Looking, and they kind of just like snack. piss the other two off all yeah, the time. Yeah, like it's a jerk. You know? Never like leaving water. Not taking care of the trash. Eating most of the food. So it's not even, like, for survival reasons. No, it's no, there's not. It's because you fucking hate You don't them. have any more food. There's no more food, and mostly because they ate it. And this, I mean, you got, you have, you have one yeah. option here. You gotta get your investment back with interest. See, that's, see, this is my problem with eating people in, in apocalyptic scenarios. Because it's always not you just eating one person. It's you and either a group or one other person. Like you said, three people. It's that right? mom yeah. mentality right there. Yes, but then... What's stopping that person from eating you? Nothing. Now you know that they're you gotta down. Be, you got to be on your toes. You got to be on your toes. You have to eat them first. That's the, so that's the thing. You no, commit that's, to eat one person, no. you eat the whole group. I mean, eventually. Yeah. yeah, but you don't need that food. You don't need it yet. No, but you will eventually eat the group, or you well, will be eating. You got to make a pact. And no. either you guys stick to the pact because, dude, that's, no one's making a pact. What do you mean? Nah, that's, if you're eating that people. is one hundred and one. 101 cannibalism. 101 cannibalism, cannibalism rules. is create a pact and stick to your pact because you need to take down other groups to get that meat. You got to see that pack will start to falter if they're alone and successful and they can't find food anymore. Then the pack fails. Mm-hmm. But they pack together until all other food resources have dwindled. Then they turn on then each they other. Turn on each other. And that's agreed. That's agreed that you'll turn on each other. And then other. they take Boom. out the weakest link over and over again. Yeah. And then they they find. You know. See that terrifies me. Like, what if you're like, sh- like, what? If, what if you know? What if there's four people left? Okay. Yeah. And there's a fourth. There's a fourth person. They're yeah. the weakest link. You're yeah. about to eat them. And they know. N- well, they don't know. Oh. But well, they don't know you're about to eat. But you know that you're not stronger than, than the, other the other two. Person. So, yeah. you're, so you're like, next. if we eat this guy, yeah, these two are gonna eat me in yeah. like so, four months. So you eat, and that night you leave. 
Or you go hunt or for you, something else, or and you, then you bring back some food, and you're like, yo, motherfuckers, we got food. We ain't got to eat nobody else. Yep. We don't keep getting food. You better start being the provider. Yeah. Because they'll eat the provider. They'll go eat you. Oh. Oh, shit. Come on, Lufrano. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Damn, that Sorry, would be gang. crazy, Sorry, though. squad. <laughs> that would be crazy. Yeah. Yeah, well, damn. That's a crazy situation to get mm-hmm. yourself into mm-hmm. right there. A little bit of cannibal action. I, you know what? I hate it when that happens. Yeah. The cannibal action? Well, yeah, you get stuck in a cannibal scenario. It happens and too often it nowadays. Yeah, there's, yeah. Too many time, there's too many times a week where I got to eat a human. Well, Literally, like, last week. Because we fucking yeah. endorse it, apparently. Yeah. We're out here just promoting cannibalism. Yeah. Shining. Shining Jeez. cannibals. Yeah, no, cannibalism is definitely Jeez. something people should look into more. Yeah, go ahead and have at it. Yeah. I, I was always... <laughs> I don't know if it's, it's, it's the cartoons I watched and stuff, but I was told... That the reason we don't eat human flesh was one because of the moral system, society, blah blah blah. But there's a lot of iron, and that makes us shaky and can give us like some brain problems. Cartoons taught you this? Yeah, really? Uh, yeah, you know, anime. You know, people eat uh, like uh, just blood stew and blood sausage and stuff yeah. like that. Uh, blood sausage? I've had it. It's really it's good. Just, just stirred blood. It's coagulated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And well, they put like I mean, spices in it and limes. Yeah. And, like, the word coagulated. Coagulated. Yeah. It's just a weird like you could that word it, itself gets coagulated in between. Yeah, the word yeah. itself it goes coagulated. Like, oh, it goes gobs oh. up in your mouth. Mm-hmm. It gobs up. Coagulated. Yeah. Coagulated. coagulated. I would Quag. love to create a word and have it be a thing. You well in the English language you can using Latin roots. Mm. Not even Latin roots. You can say a word and you get enough people to say it. Bitch gets in the dictionary. For sure, mm-hmm. that's true. For sure, <laughs> bling got in the dictionary not that long ago. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, now who who on the Webster Fleek I think is on its Fleek's way. Fleek's on there. Oh, it's on its way. Who on the Webster committee's like we get to decide? I don't know who this guy is, but I would love yeah, to meet him. I or her. Need, yeah, I'm, I feel yeah. like it's a group of like thirty to forty people. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, or like there's a voting. Each there's got to be a vote. There's got to be like like a whole. Like if you like, have a Webster's membership, you can cast a vote on forty words. people sit down. That would be cool. You and they're like. Okay, do you know this word? And then they say it, and you know, for they either say yes or no, and then that's it. Boom, done. That's the vote, and then that's it. Uh, you know, and just doesn't have to be like. Vote. I feel like the word should have like a impact on society. Well, yeah, it's got to be like a good. Like there's a, some fucking words that do not. Yeah, maybe not a positive impact, but Fleek has definitely had an impact. No, fleek, at least on and, and cult, fleek's, pop culture. Fleek's a positive word. Yeah. Um, on fleek. On fleek. On fleek. Yeah. It's a good word. You know that girl that created that word? And so I think it's originally from a vine who she's talking about her eyebrows. 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 That's what we're calling her. Her eyebrows being on fleek, which is like a, like the main compliment. Yeah. I think it's for eyebrows with that word. But uh, that is the main. She compliment has for gotten eyebrows. not one penny from that. Not anything. And well, she has a GoFundMe page that I saw on Twitter saying like I created the word fleek. <laughs> I haven't been paid for it. It's been used in multiple rap songs oh, no. and other stuff. And if you use it, it would be great for you to help donate to my cause. Is that how that works, though? Because uh, what can you claim rights to a word? I don't think you can. Because you, you can. You can. Because she didn't copyright it. She didn't patent it. No, but you can copyright your word. Yeah, word. you can. But she didn't. No. Nope. So then she it, said it. She posted it. Vine went viral in two days. Words yeah. everywhere. Yeah, that's well, that's her fault. Yeah, sorry. I internet. mean, if you patent it, I want a word. Do you patent a word? I want a word. I want to make a word. Okay, what do you got for us? Make give me a word for something. I don't fucking know. Come on, give me something. I'll give you a word for. Give it. me a word for something so insanely sour. You oh. would you would never be able to put it in your mouth except one time because you never want to do it again. Uh okay. It's gotta, uh, you gotta make your, it's gotta no, find like, let's hear it, hold on, mm, let's see, okay. what you got, come on, come on, I got something, uh, compose it, I'm, I'm trying, I'm just getting it together, uh-huh. get, I it don't know. get your mouth sour, get your mouth sour, get my mouth going, remember that lemon you just sour. had a little while ago, yeah. you were just sucking on a lemon, a little, for no, creativity, a lemon. yeah, it's my boy over here, he sucks on, on lemons before our show, ooh, it's, I can't get There's it. There's too dude. much pressure, man. There's too so much, much pressure. Going on. I just can't get a word. You can't dude. Force it, man. It's all right. I can't get a word. It it's all right. It's okay. I was thinking like, like snuff, 
Yeah. <laughs> That's like hard. Muskapow. 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 This is Muskapow. Muskapow. All right. That's great. I like you that. Know? Muskapow. Kapow's a thing, a sound effect, and moose is a word. Muskapow. Moose. Muskapow. Because, you know, in like in like old action movies, it's like kapow. Yeah. I've never heard of the word kapow. Thank you. <laughs> well, some people I don't think have. Also, there's this animal in Canada. Named a kapow? No, it's called a moose. Damn it. <laughs> Kapow they weren't aware cool. of that I got really excited for a second. No. I'd love, to, I'd love to meet a kapow out in the wild. A kapow. Look, it's a wild kapow. That could be, I mean. A group of kapows. A group of kapows. Group Look of at them. Kapows. It's just text <laughs> running across the savannah. <laughs> it's a kapow, 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 kapow. <laughs> They're just punching shit. <laughs> kapow, 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 kapow. Every time they yeah, hit something, the sound effect comes out. Kapow, kapow. Kapow, kapow, kapow. It's just that. Watch out. They're, they're getting hunted by a boom. They're, they're, <laughs> the kapows in their main call. Kapow. Kapow, 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 I'm imagine like a bunch of little like, whoops, a bunch of little like near cats. I'm just thinking a bunch of wild kapows. I'm just literally like the tech, like yellow and red words. Yeah, but they're about that size. They're about that size. And they bury. Kapow, kapow, kapow. They're just running together. There's like, 30 of them, all running together. They, like, burrow their own holes yeah, and stuff. Come out, come out. <laughs> they pop their heads out. You just see little Ks popping up. They have little hands and legs sticking uh, out of the word, right? Yeah. 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 The hands have gloves. Yeah. I think the hands and the, <laughs> the, the legs they are have just... have Mickey Mouse shoes. They're just exclamation marks, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Run around with little Mickey Mouse shoes. Kapows. Little Kapows. How would a Kapow taste? Uh, I feel like they'd be spicy. Yeah? yeah? Yeah, they taste really moose capowy. Moose capowy. So moose capowy, dude? Really moose capowy. I don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. Uh, uh, well, oh, that's what we're hunting this season, a right? A pool roasted capow is pretty pretty Ooh, tasty. A pool roasted oven. Pool, pool roasted capow on this oven. Oven pool roasted capow right there. Man. Hunt capows. On, on, on our season two. Mm hmm. Season two. Hunting kapows. Mm, Boom! Give me a kapow! Kapow! God damn. It's a kapow! It's a good, good one. Kapow! 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 Kapow!